Oh, what's up? My name is Russ, RWGResearch.com. So this is the third video of the electric motorcycle, the Zero Electric Motorcycle. If you haven't seen the other ones, go check it out. Basically, I'm going to look at the charger today. I had some questions, but at the end of the video, I answer my own questions. So wait till the end to try to post a comment. But if you do know more about what I'm about to ask about, go ahead and leave a comment anyway. Uh, yeah, so enjoy the video. We'll see you at the end. And on a side note, I forgot to show you guys the charger. I do have the charger, but I'm not sure if it works, which might have been the initial issue. This is the charger that came with it from the factory. Now, what's interesting is this right here says it's for a... Uh, where did I see that? Somewhere on here it said lead-acid battery. I don't even remember where I read that, but what's kind of fun is on the side right here. Actually, that might be it right there. Output 48 volt, 14 amps, battery lead acid, 24 cell, 18 to 360 amp hours. Now, I know by another charger that the, it says the exact same thing, but it's actually programmed for a lithium ion charge cycle. So, this guy ha has been programmed in some fashion. I'm not sure how they do that on this. Maybe there's something under the cover. We'll have a look at it maybe in a future video. So just wanted to kind of show you that is the smart charger. And they just had this very poor plug on here. And if you look on one of the other connectors, it's actually pushed in. And I think that was the white one there is like a signal wire determining whether it's good to charge or whatever. That comes from the BMS. That's one of those few cables on the BMS that come out of here that are separate. And it's uh, some, side of, some sort of a communication link. I don't think it's any sort of CAN bus, but it could be. But I don't think it is. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. All right, so while I uh, got everything on the bench here, I am playing with the charger. This might be in a later video. But uh, there's some LED indicators on here. You can see what they're doing right now. The little squiggly line, I think, is AC. The battery charge light is the one that's on the top there for that battery that has a little slice in it. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I pull the little wire off that goes to the white plug, you can see what happens. It stops charging. It's no longer charging. And if I hook it back up, it takes a second. And it will kind of go through a little diddly-doo and it will finally flick on. So I'm trying to figure out there it goes. I'm trying to figure out what that little white connector right there does. There's three connectors and the white one is an indicator wire. It comes out of the battery management block on this plug. So two of those wires goes to the little black box for the controller and then the other wire goes to the charger. Now the oscilloscope definitely makes no sense to me. That's what it's doing right now. It is charging. If I yank it off, this is what it looks like. And then it kind of goes weird. If I switch it to the charger side, you can see it's uh, got a 3.2 volt um, voltage on it. And then if I connect it back to that little thing, to the little wire going to the BMS, it does this, and then it kind of does that, and then it does this. So there's some kind of information going on here, but I've never seen any sort of a signal that looks like that. There's definitely something, something there, some tick-tock frequency, I don't know. Let's see what that is real quick. That's right about... 14 microseconds. Let's see if we can switch this real quick to uh, hertz. About 80 kilo, 60 kilohertz. It's almost exactly exactly 60 kilohertz. Um, if we zoom way out and see what kind of happens, I'm gonna pull it off there. You can see it's floating high. About. Oh, it's behind my, uh, there we go. So that's connected to the charger. This is unconnected. This is connected to the BMS. It's just making all kind of noise. 
and as soon as I plug the uh, charger in it goes to that once it figure out figures out what it's doing it drops to that and then once it starts charging it does this uh, that could be a voltage output signal or a current um, output signal or I actually have no idea it doesn't make any sense to me personally you can see there's some noise on there um, if I connect it to the battery zoomed in like this it's got a nasty wave probably picking up some AC source but as soon as we plug it into the battery management or the battery uh, charger goes up to 2.4 down to 1 and then it's kind of floating in some millivolt range but it's definitely got some weird stuff going on if anyone knows anything about this style of charger uh, do let me know there is the nameplate on it, so you pretty well got everything you need. I can't quite figure that out, and it's very bizarre to me. So hopefully I can still get this charger to do what it's supposed to do without this particular BMS, because if I can't, then I'm in trouble. So I need to figure out what this pin actually does, and we'll go from there. Cool. Okay, so after doing some digging and doing some reading and trying to figure out more about this charger here, it seems that this charger is a very smart, intelligent charger. And the, you can indeed program it, and you actually can program the pre-program settings by uh, tapping the positive against the battery and waiting three seconds and then doing it again and then holding it on there for ten seconds and it somehow reconfigures itself. So it's a pretty smart little charger. And it seems, from my tests, that if you just short out the white wire, which in all the other examples I found anywhere, they take the black wire and the white wire and they just hook them together. I believe it's some sort of a uh, either a current sense wire or some, uh, some way to do something like that. I actually cannot find any details on it. However, if I jumper those out, I can indeed get the charger to kick on and do its job. So it's some sort of an interlock that I don't fully understand. So there's the answer to that. All right, so in the next video, hopefully, I do have some of the charge controller parts. And I did take apart another battery, so I've got all my batteries and we'll be building a pack. Hopefully in the near future, we'll see. Time is a bit limited recently, but I'll do what I can because I'm super excited about getting this thing out and driving it around. But it's still going to take a lot of work to get it done. So one day at a time over here. All right. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment as usual. Thumbs up, thumbs down. However you feel necessary. Read the Bible as usual. I need to go do that a little bit more myself right now. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye.